Okay, welcome to some IGCC physics help. <clears throat> uh, this is in response to a question uh, that a student found particularly tricky, um, and I'm just going to go through and explain it. Right. So, pause the video, take a moment to read the question, and, and probably have an attempt at it. Okay, so this part's reasonably simple, okay? Um, we want to find the acceleration. We can see here that the speed is increasing. So uh, I can just find the gradient of this graph, and it will tell me the speed. So I can just do uh, rise divided by run, or the change in y divided by the change in x. Okay, so this is just going to be 8 divided by 3. Let's get my calculator. Um, okay, so that's uh, 2.66. I'll just go for 2.67 meters per second squared. Um, <clears throat> the units can also be meters second to the minus two. They both mean exactly the same thing. Okay, next part. The accelerating force on the athlete during the first three seconds. So we're being asked for a force in newtons. Um, so we can use Newton's second law, F is equal to m a. And if we go back, we can see we were given the mass of the lady. So we have the acceleration now, 2.67, and we have the mass. So we can just substitute it straight into this. That was 42, wasn't it? 42, yeah. Um, so it's going to be F is equal to 42 multiplied by 2.67. 42, just uh, quickly work that out. And that's 112 newtons. Mark for the answer, mark for the units. Okay. And on to the sort of trickier part. The speed at which she crosses the line. Now, <coughs> if this was a one mark question, I would be tempted to just have a guess at it. You know, read across here and it's going to be something, seven, some, seven point something, right? Um, but it's not. It's worth three marks, so we're going to have to do something a bit more complicated. If we look at this shape here, it is a trapezium, or it could be seen as a trapezium. So we'll be, it will be involved in the trapezium rule. Now, um, in order to find out the size of this, well, there's some information I already have. Um, I know that this was a 100 meter race, so the total area underneath here and here should equal 100. I can find the area of this easily, easily enough. It's just going to be half base times height. Right, so it's just going to be 8 times 3 divided by 2, which gives me 12. Okay, so it's going to be 8 times 3, um, all divided by 2, gives me 12 meters. This area is 12 meters. Since this whole area must be equal to 100, this area is 88 meters. Okay, so now let's think about that trapezium rule. The trapezium rule is uh, area is equal to a half a plus b multiplied by height. That is, if you consider a trapezium looking something like this, with sides a, b, and the height being inside here like this. Okay, so. Now, the height is going to be this. This will be h. Um, we could label this as being um, a and this as being b. And now, what I want to find is b. I have a. It's just 8. Um, I have h. I have the area. So I should be able to substitute quite a few numbers into this formula. 88 is equal to 88 meters, which is the area of the trapezium, is equal to a half. A is 8 plus B, which I don't know, which is what I want to find out. And from here to here, from 3 to 14.2 is 11.2. Okay, so now it's just a case of tidying this equation up. So I could multiply out the 11.2 and by the half as well, so it's going to be, um, uh, let's just do it the long way, 11.2, uh, hold on, hold on, right, uh, oops, 
uh, yeah, 11.2 times 8 is going to give me 89.6 plus 11.2b. Okay, so divide these both by 2 now as well. So I'll just go to the next line just so that you can see each step of what I'm doing. Okay, so divide by 2 now, it's going to get me to uh, 88 is equal to 89.6 divided by 2 gets me 44.8. Um, plus 11.6 divided by 2, which is 5.6b. Uh, 5 uh, so subtract 44.8 from both sides gets me 43.2 is equal to 5.6b. Divide both sides by 5.6. Cancel 5.6. So now 43.2 divided by 4.6 should tell me what B is. Okay, and B is going to be this height, which will be in meters per second. And so what's 43.2 divided by 6? It is 7.7. .7. So B is equal to 7.7, .7, and it will be meters per second. Okay, I hope you found this useful. If you have any comments, please make them. Thanks for watching. <coughs>